everybody welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to do a video tutorial and review of the uh, masquerade mini palette by Juvius um, this I bought off Beauty Bay they've recently restocked them um, it's just this beautiful lovely kind of cardboard package with these amazing and I literally mean amazing colours. Um, so I'm going to put on like my foundation and all that jazz and then we're going to have a little play. Okay, so I have done my base makeup um, and as you can tell, I'm probably going to do quite a glam look with this palette because there's just so many beautiful, beautiful colours to play with. Um, I'm not going to put any powder on underneath because I want to see what kind of level of fallout we got, but you know might work might not who knows um so yeah let's crack on and see what colors we can come up with so i thought i'd just grab the palette first of all and swatch you a couple of colors um i thought we'll go in with this which one shall i do for you let's try chai because this just looks so fun i mean look at that color um gorgeous isn't it um what else should we try let's try zola oh my god <laughs> so as you can see this formulation is so pigmented it's ridiculous um i almost don't really know what to use because they're just so beautiful um Oh, what shall we do? I really want to use like a pop of one of these really, really bright colours. Um, the only thing I would say is there isn't an all over lid colour in this palette unless you go for a shimmer, um, which like this one over here. Um, so, mm. anyway, let me prime my eyes first. I'm just going to put on um, my balm primer. This is my favourite, favourite um primer to use for my eyes it just works really really well okay and as i haven't got a base color in the palette i'm just going to go in with my old trusty mac palette and just grab my all over everyday shade um which just makes a really, really good base. Now, I have kind of come to the conclusion that I really, really want to get like a white base for my makeup um, or for my eyeshadows, like something quite strong. So if anyone's got any recommendations, um, that would be very helpful. Um, but yeah, just like a white, a really, really white base. Almost like a white eyeshadow, but that goes on quite heavily. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm first going to take this shade uh, Birkner which is like a brownie colour, very, very lightly through my crease. Um, grab a... It's a little bit dark for me for a transition shade, so I'm just being really, really light. Literally, I am just touching. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with a really fluffy brush uh, with the colour Zobo. I think I'm getting a bit of an idea in my head of what I want to do. Okay, I'm just going to run that very lightly. Through 
through. I'm just going to take it up a little bit higher. So I'm going to intensify that just a little bit in the corner. Okay, I'm now going to go in with this um, purple, which is called Makeda. I'm feeling like today would be a fun day to do purple. And I'm just going to pack that on in the outer corner. I'm just going to take it a little bit higher. I'm just going to swap brushes actually. I'm just going to go in with something a little bit more rounded. and smoke that out a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with the, so I've just kind of smoked that out, kind of done a thing. Uh, I'm going to go in with the colour Giza next, which is like a lighty pink colour. And I'm just going to pop that in the right in the corner. I really want to pack that on quite heavily by the looks of it. Okay, so I've now got two options. I could either go in with like a pinky colour, kind of in the middle, just to kind of soften it slightly, or have it just very bold, very vampy, and just kind of leave it as it is. Hmm, what shall we do? I think, let's go in with the pink, just because I really want to play with as many colours as possible. So, um, there's quite a bright pink up here called Bori. Um, which is kind of matte, but I thought it would work quite well. Let's just have a little play. I can always go over and uh, blend it out if necessary. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. sorry. Oh yes. Oh my giddy aunt. I've got to run some of this underneath. Let's put, go back in with Gaza. Uh, just blend out that line. Baby, this is good. I am loving this palette right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then I just want a small little liner brush. Let's grab that one. That looks good. I'm just gonna go back in with Bori. I 
can just drag that a bit along my lower lash line. Okay, so I'm just going to do my eyeliner off camera because I am really, really, really rubbish at doing my eyeliner on camera because I have to pull my face in all sorts of weird ways. Um, so I will be right back. Hey everybody, so this is the finished look. Um, it's a lot darker than what I'm used to wearing, um, but it is very, very dramatic. It really makes the colour of my eyes pop. I absolutely love the purple tones. I don't know about the lipstick. Um, I did change it because I wasn't really sure the red was quite right with it. Um, but yeah, I probably would definitely do the eye makeup again. Probably not wear it with this lip. I'd probably wear a different colour. Um, but yeah, um, I absolutely bloody love this palette. This palette is amazing. Oh, where's it gone? This palette is amazing. It's just beautiful. The colours in it work really well. The blendability, they just literally just whoosh, gone. Blended beautifully. Really, really easy to apply. No problems whatsoever. When I was winging it out a little bit, it did go a little bit patchy and I had to kind of fill it in. But other than that, it was a really good palette. So if you can pick up any of the Juvia, um, Juva Place palettes, they're, they're really, really good highly recommend absolutely love it um so yeah um hope you liked this little video um and i will catch you all later